of the success indicators of every government is measured by the improvement in the quality of life of its people through its policies and programs. Globally, unemployment is a major issue that governments are confronted with. The Nigerian situation appears much more worrisome as the unemployment rate is quite startling and the Delta State situation is not any different. Having gone through various strata of governance in Delta State and prior to his election as governor in 2015, Senator Dr. Arthur Ifanyo Koa had witnessed firsthand the level of unemployment, especially amongst the youths. He had a burning desire to change the status quo in line with a smart agenda of prosperity for all Deltans and make Deltans entrepreneurs and employers of labor rather than job seekers. This led to the establishment of a job and wealth creation office with the appointment of a chief job creation officer to drive the process. Empowerment schemes such as Youth Agriculture Entrepreneurs Program, YAGEP, Skills Training Entrepreneurship Program, STEP, Graduate Enhancement Program, JEEP, Production and Processing Support Program, PPSP, Tractorization, Delta State Traffic Management Agency, DESMA, Development of Agro Industries, Microcredit and others were created as a special purpose vehicle. We have continued to lay emphasis on the need to create jobs for our youths. And this is one of the ways we are creating jobs for them by helping to empower them to have a livelihood of their own. And once they're able to stand on their own, as they begin to expand, they begin to employ other youths. And as they employ other youths, people begin to create jobs. So we are training them to become job creators and not people who will be carrying a piece of paper and certificate looking for a job from one office to the other. Agriculture accounts for well over 70% of employment. And since we have an active population, it's only necessary, compulsory, that um, we begin to diversify on agriculture, which is running through the agribusiness model. That's why the job creation was established. And uh, we have developed several products in the job creation office. Um, uh, Yagepreneurs, youth entrepreneurship in agriculture, uh, we have numerous clusters. A combination of these schemes led to the creation of thousands of jobs after beneficiaries were trained and given starter parts to begin business in their different vocations. They are already creating further employment in these areas fashion and designing, events management, confectionaries, decorations, cosmetology and makeovers, plumbing, bricks making, photography, welding and fabrication, beads making, hairdressing and barbing, electrical installations, audio visuals, fish farming, poultry, animal husbandry, crop production and so many more. At first when I filled the form, I didn't think that this would happen. I just felt that, okay, let's just fill the form. But when they called me and I went for the interview, I was like, still, let's just continue. And then I started the training. When I started, that was when I realized that well, this is really happening and it's real. And then I saw people who had been giving their own startup packs. When they called me today and told me it was happening, I was screaming where I was. I had to run down here. I'm going to be rich very soon. <laughs> today, Okowa has made me proud. I can tell you that on my own today, I can stand as my mother of my own. I can take care of myself, my family, and also my, my relatives around my friends. I'm the most privileged because when I heard about the program, I was like, oh, maybe it's political. Later the day, when I was called to camp, when I resumed camp, I was like, is this going to work? Are they going to fulfill their promise? And today, behold, I'm standing in front of my machine, my property. Without this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have even had the mind to start something as great as this, but Oko has given me the mind, he has given me the training, he has given me the support and this is just the best thing any governor can do for a person. Come with us as we take you through the success stories of the job creation prowess of Governor Okoa's administration. Cynthia Oma in Sapele is one of the star ambassadors of the scheme. She is into events management and makeovers. 
she has also trained lots of other young girls. The success story of Cynthia is similar to the experience of Sophia, who is a cosmetologist and spa specialist. After getting my starter pack, I opened this shop. They gave me money for this shop. I opened the shop. And when I started the business, it has improved a lot because from then I've been able to diversify into makeover, cake, and some other things. As you can see right now, I have 12 girls that I'm training. They're actually learning now. And I've been able to graduate 12. The governor may not be able to train everybody, but for him training one person, it won't, that one person will train like 50 people. Like me, Sofina, he has trained me, but now less than two years, I've trained almost 50 people. I just want to say thank you to Dr. Okoa. In catering and confectionaries, Linda Okolosi, the CEO of Lobis Catering Services, and Karen Arubaye are now household names in their chosen fields. Arubaye has added value by training others and has a branch in Wari. I was trained on catering and since then it has been wonderful. I have gotten lots of contracts. I'm very grateful to God that the governor had such an initiative to help youth like myself too. I also have people I train, two persons under me. I have outlets in different strategic points in Asaba. After we finished our training, we were given our starter pack and some money to start our businesses. Right now, I'm doing my dream, which is being my old boss. I have been able to train 13 students. With determination, I've been able to get to where I am today by the grace of God and hard work and the support of the governor and step office. They've been very wonderful to me. In the course of monitoring and evaluating uh, what we do, we'll be, they, they kept us focused in achieving our mm. dreams. I'm already getting orders from Master Asaba. I do cocktail drinks in Lagos. I do as far as Port Accord. There is nothing more rewarding than being off the labor market as Onome Juliet, Samuel Ochiku, Akbom Reta Akbobume, Onome Mercy and Precious Wise, who are into fashion and designing, are reaching out to their customers from their bases. When I graduated, there was no job. I had this passion for fashion. Through the platform, Stepreneur and Yagep yeah, gave to us, I was able to start the fashion business. Right now, I'm a proud owner of Judo's Trends, Stitches and Fabric. Since I received the startup part, my life has not been the same. But I can boast of three square meals a day. I know if our excellency can continue this, this program, that Mr. Property will be pursued away from this state. I heard about this form and I took it. And at the end of it, my name came out. And later on, I was empowered. And by the grace of God, this is the outcome of the empowerment. I started sewing from there. I started traveling to get fabrics to sell and have a lot of customers now. I really want to say a big thank you to Okoa. In fact, God actually brought him into this tunnel to help the youth. And I think God will really bless him. In fact, Okoa Mata, Lama Mata. During the time they were training us, I took it so serious because I want to achieve a goal. I want to use the opportunity to thank the, the governor, His Excellency. He really did a great job. He took me out from the street. Now I have where I call my own company. Yagep, which was designed to support, make a Greek and agriculture attractive, has over 6,000 trainees and counting. It has cluster farms and fish ponds scattered all over the three senatorial districts. A good example is the Ugokodo Ukbe fish ponds in Wari. There are 144 fish ponds that make up Ugokodokbe cluster. They are owned by 77 Yagapreneurs. 122 bags of different fish feed sizes of 2 millimeters, 
3 mm, 4.5 mm, 6 mm and 9 mm were given out to each fish farmer by government as part of starter packs to commence business. In addition, the pond has pH meters for water testing and 7 water pumps. This is Agogo, Oene Kewede Ayage Preneur. Her condition has not deterred her as she plods on the dikes between ponds feeding fishes in her ponds. She injured her spinal cord in a near fatal car crash during youth service. She refused to be put down by this seeming challenge and glad Governor Koma's Yagapreneurship program has given physically challenged persons an avenue to become business owners. I would say a very big thank you to our governor because even in the face of this uh, economic meltdown, he has been able to live up to his expectations and the promises he made to us at the initial stage. I want to say thank you and I also want to plead with him to continue this program so that people coming after us can also benefit from it because I believe strongly that agriculture is the future of this country and I want every one of us in Delta State precisely to be part of the success story. Those into crop farming at the Eulu Cluster and Songhai Delta Farms share similar success stories as their counterparts in other vocations. I had always wanted to be a tomato farmer. I, I didn't have the farmland, I didn't have the resources. When this opportunity came, I actually grabbed it with both hands. Our hope and expectations are high. What we are to gain from getting into tomatoes farming. And we want to see it happen. Agriculture is the future of our nation. We want to be partakers. We want to be the vanguard, the people driving this goal. We are trained on tomato farming. So after my nursery stage, I noticed my tomatoes were not enough to cover my land space. So I decided to go into Konkuba to, to meet up the demand and the target in the market. Konkuba is a nice crop and it's stress free. The species of these tomatoes is of high quality because every of the persons or the customers have taken it to, they appreciated it and they never expected that such could come from this our side. So it's a good species and it's very, very fresh and strong. This tomato will last longer than you expect. If you keep it now for like two weeks, it will still be as strong as this. So it's a good species that they brought. The reception is quite encouraging and commendable. Others into poultry, animal husbandry, and fish farming at Camp 74, Otoyede Cluster, and other clusters now share their experiences as entrepreneurs. I have a passion for farming because even before then, I do have small bears, but there is no money for me to expand like the way it is. But I thank God for the governor that gave us the empowerment a starter pack and since my starter pack I have my brellas, I have my 400 turkey, I have gone into crop, cassava farm, funky leaf, I have sold it and used the money from other things. I was empowered with 400 layers and 200 broiler. In my capacity I have increased my layers to 800 layers and 1,800 broilers per annual. From the profit I got from my poultry, I was able to purchase a land which I bought in Okmanam to build my permanent site. We are happy for the program. It has help, helped me as an individual. For me, at least I have something to I'll settle some of my bills, if not all. And even my extended players, also, they are still proud that they are soon have something doing. This business I'm into by the grace of God through this program initiated by our able governor, Governor Kowa, it has really impacted on my life. Since this program started, there have been changes in my life. You can say I'm married now. So it was the cost of this program that I uh, have been able to get myself a wife. I'm not just a wife, but also a partner. So I would want to say that uh, the program has actually improved my life because even for the program, I'm sure by now I wouldn't be thinking about getting married. Not only did the state government raise entrepreneurs, it encouraged them to form cooperatives to enable beneficiaries access loans from the Delta State Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency, DESMA. 
and Desma is always handy to extend a helping hand. I will be a job creator. I will be a job creator. By the special grace of God. By the special grace of God. I will be committed to this program. I will be committed to this program. As the success stories resonate across the state, there is zero tolerance for discrimination in the schemes, irrespective of circumstance of birth. So, the physically challenged are also on board. Augustina, who was trained in hairdressing, runs her salon in Asaba. She has demonstrated that there is ability even in disability. I'm very happy to be among the beneficiary because the day of my trade, the day they invited me to this program, it's like I don't know whether the thing will be possible that they are saying, this one they are saying you should come and register limbs. I don't understand. But by the time we finish the program, when they say I should come and collect what uh, empowerment uh, gift, I was surprised. And I went there with Keke to go and collect what I want to bet. I, I went there, but when I saw the things that they brought for me, Ah, I, it's not a thing that Keke can carry. And I go and shut her boss. His boss, I used to pack my things home. So I'm very, I'm very happy because I'm somebody today. Today, before, I, I don't used to provide anything for myself. I don't have anything to do. But today, at least, I'm a sister to people. I can give things to people. I, somebody can cry to me and help that person out. So I thank God for the, what Okowa did for my life. It made me to be proud to be. Augustina is not alone in the hair business. Shedrak Otui is a unisex hair stylist who has carved a niche for himself. After training, I got involved with a company that's doing into ladies' hair. A company that is into ladies' hair. From there, I now see that ladies' hair is more is enterprising and have future. Based on the number of women in the country today, I develop more interest, which I'm, I'm into, fully into. Bricks, ribbons, handmade crochets, pick, pick and drops, and other things, while I combine it with the barbie. So by his grace, it's giving me an edge of income. Having trained and empowered thousands of youths to become entrepreneurs and business owners in different vocations for the past two years, and with encouraging feedback reaching government, Governor Ifanyokoa directed the Chief Job Creation Officer to organize products exhibition and business fair to encourage them further and expand their business frontiers with possible partnerships. On the first day of the fair, Governor Koa had ex-Governor James Ibori and Governor of Salkoto State Aminu Tambawal accompany him to tour the stands. We realize that since we cannot give people government jobs because there are already so many people in the government job, we thought that there must be ways to actually sustain uh, our youths in job creation efforts and that what led us to this. That plan had already been in place if I became governor. So when I became governor, it was just uh, easy for us to start the process. And that's why you can see that a lot of them are getting very established with the testimonies here. Uh, so many of them are already being to employ so many others and to train so many others. It's quite interesting. I believe that we have a lot, a lot to learn from this very important initiative and I assure you that I will send my people down here to come and understudy this program so we can go and implement it in the state. Today, the people of Jerusalem place that trust to make you their governor. They did it knowing fully well that they will deliver and thank God for delivering. Let me place on record my gratitude to you for remembering our youth, for remembering your unemployed youth. Because at the end of the day, when you and I are gone, they will be the ones to take over.
The fair, which was beamed live on national TV, gave the young business owners a rare opportunity to showcase their products and services. And this exhibition has improved my life in so many ways. And I want to tell our people around that they should put mind in what they are doing and do it well so that your hand work will bring food for you as it has done for me. With this exhibition, I just met with the Commissioner of Oil and Gas, Mofe Pira. I gave me some good assurance on how it can be of help to me. I met with one of the directors now. I met with some other board members, which have given me words of encouragement that I need. The challenges I've been facing, and they've given me the support that on, on in that area they need to People who ate my food, they like, they like the food, they like they're going to come back with my food. It has really done so much for my pizza. It took my card. It's really a good one. And I really wish people would do more of this kind of exhibition for us in the day. It has been linking us to people. Like we are here now, I've met with over three, four persons that are interested in the such programs. But they don't know on how to start because in our in my company here, uh, I do consult and uh, I train and plan people's farm. Some buyers and financial institutions that thronged the fair hailed the quality of local products and looking out for possible partnerships. We came here majorly for to see a way we can support these people. We know that once they pass out from here, they will need support in one way or the other. So majorly we are taking their contacts for those residing in Asaba. For those outside Asaba, we refer them to other branches. Because in Fidelity, we have a scheme for MSNs. We came to show solidarity to the government of Delta State to show support and to show results. C4 Project's development objective is to create employment for, for the youth of Delta State. To date, since the project started, the project has created employment for about 8,500 youth, direct jobs. We have moved from the realm of speculation to the realm of reality. Well, we now know that these boys are really working. You can see me buying uh, their product. You can see me trying to look at what they are doing. This is wonderful. This is delightful. I have never seen it like this before. Beaming with smiles, the step and yagapreneurs talk about their products and services, expectations, and what the fair means to them. This here is a tomato paste done by me for my farm produce. I had to make a blend of it, no coloring, no additives, it's just the tomato, water, a pinch of salt and a preservative, that is what I use, pure tomato paste, no chemical added to it. This is the newest thing to my collections that the governor had exposed me to and I'm very glad about it. BOI has even came for this thing, they, they gave me their flyers that when I go through it, I should call them, they are ready to assist me in any way I want. With the experience we've gotten, we say please, if you have any building project, please call us. We will come, we will do it very well, for we will use authentic material, and you will appreciate what the state government has done for the youth. And we are going somewhere. We are not there yet, but we know we will get there. That system where you can use your phone to switch off all the electrical appliance in your house. For the few hours I've been here, I've been able to establish that spread of contacts. I've gathered a lot of contacts, I've made myself known, I've exhibited myself in the skills I've been training by the state government. As we are here, we are selling our products, we are marketing our ideas, the world is seeing us, and I believe after this exhibition, I will go international. It wasn't all business, as there were side shows to spice up the day. <laughs> As the program moves into its third cycle, the Chief Job Creation Officer, Professor Eric Abel, noted that valuable lessons have been learned. He is also proud the World Bank C4 project has endorsed the program based on its credibility. He also strongly believes the STEP Yagep Exhibition and Business Fair will provide a watershed for new business frontiers for beneficiaries while also looking into the future with a deep sense of optimism that things can only get better. What the state is experiencing today 
is the product of the vision, the leadership, and the, uh, the oversight that the His Excellency, the Governor of Delta State, has brought into uh, this uh, program in terms of institutional engineering, uh, which, which he has created uh, for what he states. As the Okawa-led administration keeps opening new economic frontiers for the youths and the young at heart, the state's first lady and ever supportive wife, Dame Edith Okawa, has continued to transform the fortunes of rural women and urban poor through her pet project, O5 Initiative. Delta State is a special state. That is why in Delta State, in spite of the fact that there are people that cannot pay salaries, we are even making uh, structures. We are constructing roads, we are constructing marketplaces. It is only God that can do it. <laughs> 